He's an expert in kinesiology, and he's telling me not to use this product. <laughs> Correct. What Look at those squats, dude! Look at these squats, I'm dog. Someone's been squatting. Yeah, dude! Yeah! What if I just stand- Ah! Welcome to Movie Phone. No, uh, what's up guys? My name is Matthias, and today we're gonna be looking at 10 strange things that Brian found on Chinese websites. Like Deal Extreme, Alibaba, most of these are all made in China, if not all of them. And uh, since Brian got all these items, that leaves me to be the deciding factor whether you should try it or deny it. So I will determine if it's good or bad, whether you should buy it, whether we should buy it or not, or deny it or try it or what? Guys, make sure to hit that bell icon next to my channel name on desktop and on mobile to get notified of when we upload videos because I will be commenting back for the first 30 minutes and also sometimes I live stream. So click it so you don't miss it. Boom. Seomai, remote control, colorful LED doll, stage clothes, luminous costume, robot suits. They use the title as if it's like some type of sentence, but it's just words. It's just a string of words, you know what I mean? So what we got here, is this a doll or is it a costume? It says stage clothes, nowhere did it, oh yeah, but then it says LED doll. What the heck, dude? It looks like someone can legit put this on. Yeah, no, look at that. $899? And 10 cents. <laughs> Where'd the 10 come from? 899. I'm not gonna get my money's worth. Better make it 10 cents. Yes, video. Yes, poppy. Yes, poppy. Oh, portrait mode? Why does he look so lost? This is creepy. Hey, why is there no audio? <laughs> I don't understand. That was just bizarre. That wasn't like stupid. It was just like someone was just like in this dark room, just like. <laughs> Dance doll. <gasps> no feedback? What do you mean? No one's bought the product? I wonder why, dude. Maybe it's the fact that it's $900. And guys, that means we are going to have to deny it. By the way, guys, don't get all upset when we don't buy products. Like, you really want me to buy this $1,000 product just so I go out of business for your satisfaction? That's a cruel dill hole move. By the way, if you're part of this notification squad, if you have clicked that bell, give this video a like. Cause it's like, oh, what's up? I'm part of that notification squad. Let's join in. Clicking that bell. Mm. Yes, this is so incredible. I love it, dude. Cute deer head shape fur rule. Game tools for kids, inflatable toys, balloon party, birthday decor. Okay, I get it. You're spamming tags in your title. $4.24. This is great, guys. This is great. I only see one problem with this device. It's kids throwing objects at other kids' heads. Uh, you're a kid. At what point are you going to be like, maybe you can catch a rock with your head, Johnny? <laughs> Can we try? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he just loses all his teeth. This is a real story that I made up. <laughs> and all the people that got shook in the last video where we reviewed Chinese items, I'm not making fun of different cultures of people, people. We're making fun of Google Translate not being able to accurately translate <laughs> all these reviews. The pictures are of the actual products. Duh! <laughs> At one point, are you like, no, let's put some pictures of a different product. Just fool them. Did not receive my package. Seller did not respond. Mad face. <laughs> uh, did not receive this item at all. What? They're not even sending it? Not so good quality, so I don't dare to inflate him because it's for Christmas and I don't know if I can inflate him again. Not bad. It was really hard to inflate. As soon as you stop blowing, it starts to deflate, but worked well. <laughs> this is unique enough. I'm going to try it. Okay, okay, it's rather big. I got this, I got this. <gasps> Look, dude, I did it. Is this gonna fit my head hole? Or my head? <laughs> Your head <laughs> hole? <laughs> Of it. Is this literally just plastic that you tie down here? Look, it's not even even on both sides. <laughs> no, you moved. You moved away from it. So I'm not supposed to move. No. You stink, dude. Dude, no, I, I can see if I can get it, not even looking. Okay. And you can't get it. <laughs> you stink so bad. It's really not that hard. What happens if you get them all on one side? Can it support that weight? Or am I limping? 
I don't think this was fully thought through. <laughs> Rudolph the limp reindeer. No, the limp antler deer. Uh, I say deny it. Nope, I don't like it. Nairbow HC30 interactive projector. Interactive, what does that mean? You can use it? <laughs> what does interactive mean in this context? Press the button and it does something. That's called interactive. By that definition, every device on the planet is interactive. Like this is interactive. Look, I push it and now it pushes back. But it's $38,000. That's incredible. What's so good about it? 120 minutes, long time serving. <laughs> what does that mean? Built-in battery, support working when power off. That's scary. If you power it off and it's like, I'm still on. Oh, sweet dope picture of some bell peppers, bro. Oh, this is hurting me and it's putting a mark on my forehead. <laughs> What's an interactive projector? What is this creepiness? It can be used for education. Instead of normal chalk, use our electronic pen to touch the projection screen on the wall. So that's kind of cool though, that you can actually use it. Is it cool worth 38 grand? No. One sensitive lens. Wait, a touch sensitive lens? Doesn't make sense, bro. Why that's would you to tell you? Why would you touch your lens? That's a good way to just smudge your entire screen. Oh my gosh, they're really pushing this hard with some clip art. What? Good. One plus one. <laughs> Equals question mark? What's one plus one, guys? <laughs> what in the world? That's it? Just no reason for it to be $40,000. Oh, 70 pieces. Oh. 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 We're not buying in bulk, that's, that's your reason. So it's actually $550 a piece. That makes sense. Now we look like idiots, Brian. Thanks, dude. Making me look like an idiot. Still don't have $500. Not gonna buy this. <laughs> Deny it. Hot sale, cartoon anime, Slug Terra play shotgun. That's not a shotgun. Toy, give three bullets <laughs> and two Slug Terra. Action figure as presents. Boy toy, pistol gun gift. What do you want for Christmas, Johnny? I want a boy toy, boy toy pistol gun gift. <laughs> are those are the bullets? I don't understand. It shoots out little alien creatures? What are these? This is straight up weird. $30? Mamacita. Pull bar to fire. Trigger is just a decoration. What? What? <laughs> what? So you have to do this and then release. Aw, little slug guy. It looks like Finding Nemo. Bet I'm gonna get a bunch of comments that are like, I love Slug Terra! And maybe it's good, I don't know. Is it a show? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. Has been a disappointment. The figment has not arrived and my son made him very much excited. <laughs> Who'd your son make excited? Such which is Mutra, but is shoot without the trigger. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Yes. Bye now. This is exactly how they... Shipped it. Okay, that's very strange. That was loose? Yep. Got the gun right here. I'm actually very curious to see how it shoots without a trigger. These are the slugs that it potentially shoots, and these are like erasers. I think this goes on like the bottom of a pencil or something. A free gift, maybe. You know, it's a free gift. Ah. And you can see the problem with that is when I release, my hand moves because of the tension. Very hard to be accurate when you can't pull with a trigger. Let's try. You know what's up, Brian. You know, you know what's coming. What? 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 It doesn't even go like three feet. It's a cool looking gun, I'm not gonna lie. This is like a, a dope looking gun. Like I would like a Nerf gun that looked like this, right? Like I literally, I'm shooting you in the head now. Are you kidding me? It broke. That ends up being a deny it. Sorry, Slug Terra. Middle keyboard with trackball and numeric keypad. Stainless steel keyboard with inducky. <laughs> inducky. That's a sweet feature, dude. Inducky. Oh. 
$4,350. I'm gonna be honest with you, that's a cool looking keyboard, right? For four grand, it looks super janky. It might not be. What the heck's on the back of it? It looks like it's like this big. What are you gonna have to type up on your desk like this? It's impeding the keyboard's ability to be a keyboard. Maybe this is for like a cut out desk and then you recess it. So you put the keyboard in the desk so it just stays there, right? And maybe that's why it's like heavy duty and stuff like that. It's, that's right, they're 145 each. Oh, 145 each. So this one I did purposely to try and get that reaction. The projector was an accident. You didn't. <laughs> so wait, you knew that they sold it in in pieces, in lots, but yes. for the first one you didn't realize. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, the first I didn't realize. So guys, Brian is the doofus in here, okay? Not me. It's, it's not still $145. Yeah, but a thousand dollars for shipping. Come on, 30 keyboards? That'd cost me, even if I wanted to do one day shipping on Amazon, that cost me like 200 bucks. That's where they get you, dude. Oh, that's a, like a standard, you see a, yeah. You see that right there? That's yeah. like a standard like serial port, old school style. Old school style. Let's deny it. By the way, guys, if you like to see pictures of me and other things, other than just products like my face or other people's faces, follow me on Instagram, at Matthias I am right here. Here's a snapshot of my Instagram feed. Oh, ooh, ooh, beautiful, mmm. Uh, 2016 as dental dental electric toothbrush no rechargeable <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a feature. It's not rechargeable with four brush heads. So what's so special about this, Brian? What, what what am I supposed to be seeing here? You have an electric toothbrush, right? Yeah, at home. I have a Sonicare, and they're awesome. You want me to compare a $10 toothbrush to a $150 toothbrush? 4.9. It might be hard to, you know, deny this one, dog. Yeah, it could be a good buy. Multiple different caps, standard stuff, standard stuff, blah, 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 blah. Broke down after two weeks of use, does not turn on. Brush cleans well, but that's just jammed often. <laughs> Waiting for batteries and charging kit to test. T. K. Normal does battery does not pull. Yeah, normal batteries don't pull. I don't know what kind of battery you usually use, you perv. Let's test it out, dude. Bye now. Ah, here we go, here we go. A lot of instructions for a toothbrush. What do you think? You put the thing on, you take it out, and then you click the button. <laughs> Switch off toothbrush and take it out of your mouth. <laughs> be told that dude who needs to be told to switch off the toothbrush and take it out of your mouth like if that instruction wasn't there right and you're just you've got it in your mouth and you're like now what what do i do Mom! i got those okay i'm not putting this in my mouth it smells like fish <laughs> oh, you spit all over me <laughs> that smells like it was packaged in the same like Area as fish were being made. No, dude, don't. I'm the, no, I'm not letting. Like, All right, Mike has, Mike has no idea what he's about to smell. All right, and we're gonna ask him what this smells like. What does this smell like to you? Come here. Just a toothbrush. Just, never been just, used. Never been used. Never it's, been used. I just pulled it out of the package. You can see that. Am I smelling this? No, or just this? any part of it. Oh, fish. <laughs> <laughs> we don't it know why. Like fish. We don't know why. So we're not testing. No, I'm definitely not testing a toothbrush that smells like fish. That's a deny it. <laughs> VR all-in-one virtual reality intelligent 3D glasses. Lens smart glasses support HD. Okay, yeah, so it's a VR headset. You gotta strap it to the back of your head there. It's not just not good enough to just have normal glasses like on the side there. Snap joint, blah blah blah. Oh, really? I like how they use this as their product. Their product doesn't look like any of those pictures. The guy on the right and the left though, he's he looks like he's like in the future, bro. Yes, all am I. What does that even mean? Yes, all am I. This is one, this is actually $1,800. Okay, here's what I don't understand. There's a camera right here. Why don't you just look with your real eyes? What, are you gonna take a picture and then look at it? Why don't you just look at what you're looking at? Oh, wow, dude. What is this? <laughs> it's multimedia glasses, VR glasses, AR glasses. Yes, all I am I. Are you still wearing heavy helmets? What? <laughs> there is also a brick as a mobile phone. <laughs> Maybe because you're wearing heavy helmets. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
light and portal. Okay, why is she looking out the window? Why does she have a book in front of her? You know what this tells me? They photoshopped this, this on. Because why would she have a book in front of her? She can't see it. Oh, maybe she can because of the little cameras there. Augmented reality, my butt. Super shock stereo headphones. Enjoy the shock live. <laughs> what does that even mean? No reviews. No reviews, dude. Feedback zero. I wonder why, dude. Maybe because everyone's still wearing heavy helmets. <laughs> what? And their fo- what? <laughs> and their phone's a brick. <laughs> That was a fun one, but I'm gonna deny it. <laughs> I'm not gonna pay $1,800 for this piece of garbage. Kitchen cooking tools, gadget lemon sprayer, fruit juice, citrus spray, de cocina, cocina, cuisine, gadget, utensilo. You read the, the I read Spanish that. words better than the English one. <laughs> wow, 79 cents. That's dope, dude. Okay, so what does this do? You just stick it inside a lemon and then you treat your lemon as like a juicer. Come on, how's that gonna work? Oh my gosh, 2,000 people bought it? Oh, wow. Look, they just photoshopped a picture of this over lemons. That's kind of creepy looking. Oh, he's so excited about this, dude. <laughs> Stuck it right in a watermelon. The number is not tracked. Came to some sort of nonsense. Though came quickly, juice does not arrive at exhibited in lemon. <laughs> Looks good, but have not tried it out yet. Mm, these are my pet peeves, dude. Looks good, and I received it but I haven't tried it. Three stars, yeah, they, they knocked them two stars for something. I don't know why. That would piss me off so much if I was like a, a merchant and someone's like, one star, haven't tried it yet though. Goods did not come back the money. I bought it in the store cheaper. Cheaper than 79 cents? 79 cents, wow. Okay, I don't care. I'm gonna buy it from China and let's try it. Oh, okay. This is as seen on TV. That's what they say. I don't think that's the actual logo. They just threw yeah, it Yeah, it's, it's a completely different logo. Oh, it's all soft right here. That's not what I expected. <laughs> so you drill it in mm -hmm. and then squirt, squirt. Let's drill it in. They didn't say cut it. Is it just... Oh. Maybe this acts as a suction and it sucks it out. Ready? I'm going to spray on this pan. Oh! 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 What? Dude, this is legit, bro. <laughs> it's key, it keeps coming. But don't waste it. This is a definite try it, dude. I, I bet if I just like give it give it a little bit of oomph over here. It's messy though, huh? Yeah, it's definitely messy, but it's easier than juicing an orange if you just want. Oh my gosh, dude. It's coming out in like full force. Look at all that juice that look at all that juice that we have. Look at all that juice in there, dude. Whoa! It's like dripping out. Ow! This thing hurt, dude. <laughs> Before the next couple products, make sure if you're new here that you subscribe by clicking that button down below that says subscribe below the video. Do it, I'd love to see you more often. And if you'd like to see videos like this more often, hit it, baby. Oh, 2016 new Jazda control arm ring, body feeling control, body feeling, ooh. <laughs> Body feeling. Control arm ring muscle induction intelligent bracelet for Android iOS. Yes, so I've seen this before. The, a lot of people in the comments that are like, these reactions are fake. No, they're legit real. Because you just saw my reaction when I saw something that I've seen before. I'm like, oh, I've seen that before. And I know what this is supposed to do. Um, however, that is super expensive. I'm pretty sure you could find it cheaper than this. Well, it goes on your forearm, right? And it detects your muscles and the, the position in which you move your arm. Supposedly, you're supposed to manipulate interfaces and stuff by doing like the minority report kind of thing. You know, where he's like. Open new era human computer interaction. The body feeling control. What, what, what is body feeling, dude? The body feeling control. You put it on, ooh, it's feeling my body. <laughs> As smart devices gradually gesture control mode to control the very science fiction began to walk into our field of vision. <laughs> if you don't understand that sentence, guys, then that's because you're not in the future, all right? Because this is how people talk in the future. It's clever, but it also requires you to wear something. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> what is she doing, dude? Stop, weirdo. How much are they selling it on their own site? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Buy now, 30 day guarantee. $199. <laughs> Guys, give this video a like right now if you want to see me actually try this out on camera and actually see if it's a try or deny it. 
How does it know when you're act actively trying to see? Here's the issue that I potentially see with it. How does it know when you're act? <laughs> He's like. How does it know when you're actively trying to use it or when you're just doing a day-to-day -day activity, right? You're doing this, right? And you're like creepily controlling this drone, right? And then all of a sudden someone's like, what's up, Johnny? High five! And you're like, yeah, what's up? And you give him a high five. And the drone just like goes straight into some kid or something like that, right? <laughs> like, I, I see that as a potential problem. Let us know if you want us to buy this by giving this video a like and letting us know down in the comments below. Because we may if, if there's interest enough. But right now, I'm going to have to deny it because I ain't paying $1,500 hundred dollars for it stop what is this why is his weight <laughs> his belt is somehow over his dumbbell how's that even a, how's that what what in the name what is this supposed to work out your neck I mean I, some people may have weak necks there might for rehab purposes rehab yes. 953 head harness belt neck weight lifting strength exercise strap fitness weights head nylon this looks like it could be a meme <laughs> you know what I mean it's just got that face just that face dude the price is high for such a cheap quality uh oh that's not good you don't want to be like Messing with your neck like that, dude. Ordered are not the same day. All be separately. Quality is so so. No Proclac du Check soft or anything. The straps. Well, imagine not very comfortable on the head. Came in two weeks in Moscow. Okay, well, we're gonna have to test ourselves to see if this is actually comfortable on the head. Let's buy now. Ah! Uh, loud, dude. This looks like a product I shouldn't be testing on my channel. Oh, it fits my head, dude. <laughs> it looks like I'm a dog with droopy ears. <laughs> Goofy. Stop. You're gonna use a sandbag? You what? think my neck's that strong? Here we go, guys. I'm testing my neck strength for you. Good stance, good stance, right? Arrgh! He's an expert in kinesiology, and he's telling me not to use this product. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Look at those squats, dude! Look at these squats, dog. I've always been squatting. Yeah, dude! Yeah! What if I just stand- Ah! Guys, make sure you go check out this dollar store video right here. It is nine strange things Brian found at the dollar store. And as you can see right in the thumbnail right there, there's like a weird looking little thing. You're supposed to stick that thing up your nose. It's strange. Check it out. I'll see you over there in just a second. High five.